Hi everyone, this is Mike speaking and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a simple and a fully functional web browser using the UI web view class. And first of all we're going to create a new project. It's going to be a window based application. I'm going to name my web view tutorial. And our application is going to look like this. There's going to be a UI navigation controller which is going to contain a single UI text field and a button inside the root view controller. And the button is going to lead to an action which is going to uh, push a new view controller which is going to contain our UI web view. And the action is going to load uh, and the URL that the user specified inside the uh, UI text field. So first of all we're going to create a UI navigation controller instance inside the application delegate. Nav controller retain non-atomic UI navigation controller nav controller. Now we need to synthesize it inside here, nav controller. And we add the sub view of navigation controller inside the window. Nav controller view. Everything is working. And now we're going to create two new classes. The first one is going to be uh, the root view controller class. And the other one is going to be the web view controller class. Now we drag the zip files inside the resources group. And now we're going to open up the main window zip file to add the UI navigation controller instance. We drag UI navigation controller in here. Now we need to connect this outlet to the object. Now we need to specify what view, root view controller is going to be loaded. So the new name is going to be root view controller and the class is going to be root view controller. Now we save and check to see if we have done everything properly. And there's our navigation controller and our root view controller. Great. So now we need to edit our root view controller class and we're going to add some more objects. So now we're going to add the outlet of UI text field. Text field. Retain non atomic UI text field text field and we're going to add two actions the first action is going to load the URL and the other action is going to be causing the keyboard to disappear when the user presses end hide keyboard ID sender and now we're going to copy these two actions and we're going to synthesize the text field text field so now we have two uh, instance two actions and a synthesized text field so now we're going to do some code writing text field we design first responder uh, in case you haven't watched my tutorials earlier on, uh, this uh, command causes the keyboard to disappear. As the keyboard becomes the first responder when uh, we load it, so when we want the keyboard to disappear, we just need to uh, stop it from being the first responder. So we do this to make the keyboard disappear. Uh, so now we're going to play around in the interface builder of the root view controller. We're going to add the UI text field inside uh, 
inputs and values, text field, let's, re oops. let's resize it, and add a single button, go. Now we're going to connect our objects. This is text field, and when the user touches the button, touch up inside, we want the URL to load. Touch up inside, and when the user touches end, so did end and exit, we want the keyboard to hide. Hide keyboard. Okay. Now we're going to edit the H file of the WebView controller class, and we're going to add the interface builder outlet UI web view web view add property retain non-atomic UI web view web view add synthesize web not that web view okay so now Let's go back to the root view controller class. So first of all, we need to allocate a new uh, class of the web view controller inside our action over here. So first, we need to import the h file uh, web view controller, right? And now we allocate the new class web view controller lock in it with net name web view controller. Notice that we don't add zip file and, um, when we specify the nib name. Now we need to push the view of the web view controller inside our navigation controller. Push view controller view and we want this to be animated. So now we need to uh, make a URL out of the uh, string that the user has entered, entered inside the text field. To do this, we need to uh, use the NSURL class and we need to bind it with the string the user has entered. NSURL lock in 